Okay, so I want to do a quick video here on how to trigger a tape record on multiple machines with Switchboard. Pretty much the hardest thing here is to make sure that the OSC server is running on all the machines that you want to trigger a tape recorder on. And then, you know, also having them connect to that server. The first things first, once you've launched both editors, if you don't see green dots here, that means that they're not connected to the OSC server. So if these are orange, you're not going to be able to trigger a tape record. Another way to know if things are working is if you change the slate here and it automatically changes the slate in the editor. So if this is not working for you, some things to go and check are make sure that whatever editor you want to record on is set to is recording device. This will tell it to launch a OSC server and to try and connect to that OSC server. And then a thing here is to pay attention to the ports. If you go to the docs and you have a look, it'll tell you the OSC server port and virtual production plugin matches the OSC client port. And then the OSC server address is reachable by switchboard. So here's the server port and here's the client port. By default, these come at 6,000 and 8,000. And you know, most times those ports are free and they can be used. A lot of times those ports can get kind of used up by something else or hang on to a zombie process. So you might have to change those port numbers. And then you want to go into the editor itself, scroll all the way down to virtual production editor, and then make sure that this OSC port number matches the client port. So this number and this number need to match. And then also make sure that start and OSC server is clicked on. And then in the docs, this has it set to localhost uh, 127.0.0.1. Depending on your network setup, you might not be able to use localhost. So you might have to put in your actual IP address. And then each machine needs to have its own IP address here. So if you have two machines on being launched by switchboard, uh, this number is going to be different for both machines. So you can just, you know, kind of match what you have connected to switchboard here. And then uh, one other thing to double check if things still aren't connecting is if you go to the switchboard plugin, make sure that OSC switchboard listener is connected up and there's something there. Uh, just going back to the ports, if you see this spit out in your log or in your window here where it just says it's creating the OSD client, you know, says hello. And then, you know, it's just kind of getting destroyed and creating it and destroyed and creating it and destroyed. It's because the, that port that you have connected to here is not empty. It's not reachable. So you can either try and reboot, you can try and, you know, go into your services here, your details and kill anything that kind of looks like it may be hanging on to a port, you know, any sort of server running that you don't need, any sort of like zombie UE instance, those things will all kind of block it up. If you get problems, the big thing is, is just to kind of keep trying to find some empty ports here. And then once you get green, then you're good to go. So I've got my second machine here in TeamViewer. This one is editor one, and then the one in TeamViewer is editor two. If I go here, it's up the take number. So you see that it changed in both machines. And then I can trigger a take here. And you see that both machines are take recording there. And, we, and when these are red, it means that it's take recording. And then they're going and they're saving the take. So there you go. That's how to connect up two machines to take recorder and then uh, use switchboard to trigger a take.